So, uh, Krishna is the master of the senses. The whole world is struggling for sense gratification. Here is the simple philosophic truth that first of all let India, let Krishna India. He is the master. Then you enjoy. Tena taktena mundita riso manusya. Everything belongs to Krishna. Ishavasam, vidam, sarvam. Everything belongs to Krishna. This is the mistake. Everything belongs to Krishna, but we are think, thinking everything belongs to me. This is illusion. Aham mameti. Aham mameti. Janasya mohoyam. Aham mameti. This is illusion. Everyone is thinking, I have this body, and everything, whatever we find in this world, that is to be enjoyed by me. This is the mistake of civilization. The knowledge is, everything belongs to God. I can take only whatever He gives me kindly. A loss. Tena tattena punjita. <coughs> this is not Vaishnava philosophy. This is the fact. Uh, nobody is proprietor. Ishavasa Vidam Sama. Every uh, Krishna says, uh, I am in charge. I am the proprietor. Sarvalupa Mahisaram. Mahaisaram. Maha means great. Uh, we can claim Ishavam, controller. Uh, but Krishna is described as Mahaisar, controller of the controller. That is Krishna. Nobody is independently controller. So, therefore Krishna is described Rishikesha, Rishikina, Rishikesha, Sevanam, Bhakti, Rityate. And Bhakti means to serve Rishikesha, by the Rishik. Rishik means senses. Krishna is the master of the senses, and therefore, whatever senses I have got, that master is Krishna, proprietor is Krishna. So when our senses are engaged in the satisfaction of the master of the senses, that is called bhakti. This is the definition of bhakti, devotion and service. And when the senses are engaged, for sense gratification, not for the master. And that is called kam. Kama and prema. Prema means to love Krishna and do everything for satisfaction of Krishna. That is prema, love. And kama means everything done for the satisfaction of my senses. This is the difference. The sense is the medium. Uh, either you uh, do it, satisfy your senses, or you satisfy Krishna's senses. But when you satisfy Krishna's senses, you will become perfect. And when you satisfy your senses, you will become imperfect, illusion. Because you cannot uh, satisfy your senses. That is not possible without Krishna. Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sivanam, Bhakti, Therefore, one has to purify the senses. At the present moment, everyone is trying to satisfy his senses. Aham mameti, janasya mohoyam, humsana sriyami, funi bhavameta. The whole material world is that there are two living entities, male and female. Uh, the male is trying also to satisfy his senses, and the female is also trying to satisfy her senses. 
Here the so-called law means there is no law. It cannot be done. Because the man and woman, nobody is trying to satisfy the other party's senses. Everyone is trying to satisfy his or her senses. A woman is loving a man for satisfying her senses. And the man is loving the woman for satisfaction. Therefore, as soon as there is some little disturbance in the sense gratification, divorce. I don't want. Because the central point is a personal sense gratification. But we can make a picture so what? Oh, I love you so much. I love you. There is no love. It is all calm or lust. In the material world, there cannot be possibility of love. It is not possible. Ah, it's so called cheating. Cheating on me. I love you. I love you uh, because you are beautiful, it is satisfying my senses. Because you are young, uh, it is satisfying my senses. Ah. This is the word. Material word means this. Pumishana sriya me thuni bhava me the whole basic principle of this material world is sense gratification. Janamai dhunadi grihame di sukham mitucham kanduyane na karayo rivadukha dukham. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.